Tokiden 2 is Koei Tecmo's Monster Hunter. You're a slayer in feudal Japan fending off Oni with the help of three allies, whether they're AI or actual players. You have 11 weapons to choose from including swords, knives, spears, gauntlets, chain and sickles, bows, naginatas, rifles, sword and shields, and chain whips. Each weapon has its advantages such as range, damage output, guarding, etc. Oni come in many shapes and sizes, from big and bulky to small and impish, and these demons won't let up unless one of you fall in battle. Mitama are spirits and are essential for getting through the game. These spirits affect what abilities you have on the field including healing, attack speed, etc. The 11 types of Mitama are attack, defend, speed, healing, spirit, deceit, space, luck, support, plunder, and control. While some are self-explanatory, Plunder deals with your breaker gauge's refill rate. Deceit is for deceptive moves like Mirage, which your ghost copies your moves, and Control is mostly attempts at staggers and such, whereas Space is for escape moves. Equipment consists of your weapon, armor pieces, and your three Mitama. These will impact your attack in elemental, regular defense stats, but your armor also affects this stat called Aegis which is the speed that your red health gauge regens. Your armor means absolutely nothing when it comes to skills, so set bonuses won't be awarding you much, unless you have specific sets of Mitama, which do give you your skills, also called boosts and abilities. In the town, you have your blacksmith who upgrades and crafts armor, the shop to buy and sell materials and gear, spa for temporary stat boosts, your home to check your equipment and stuff, quest guide, and the quest gate. Combat is your standard hack and slash monster hunter style. Short and long range attacks depending on the weapon, somewhat predictable moves while fighting Oni, except with a twist of the demon hand. The demon hand allows for extra traversal options, part breaking, both permanent and temporary, and 100% stagger options. There are certain moves that have an aura that the Oni do, and when you see that aura, you can use the demon hand to trip them for a full stagger. Aside from that, the demon hand can also do Oni burial which is a special move that can permanently break off Oni parts depending on the conditions met. Oni Burial is gained from doing hefty damage and is easily obtainable using Plunder Mitama. There's also a basic breaker move that fills your gauge that you get as well, which temporarily breaks the Oni parts. But that's not dependent on the Demon Hand at all. And with that, we conclude the essentials of Tokiden 2. I could have gone over the single player expeditions or the Tenko, but those things weren't as important to be honest. The reason why this took so long is because I lost interest in the title, personally, a little bit after deciding to do this one. I figured it would be nice to give fellow hunters extra options of different Monster Hunter style games. Well, the next one coming up, I can't guarantee which one it is, but I'm looking forward to uploading more than once a month. So yeah, thank you for sticking through, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.